Hey there, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the Blind Beard Show. So, as the Blind Beard, I have to notify you that this was a SmackDown that you could have afforded missing. Okay? You should have missed this one. Or you could have. I mean, not saying you should have, but you could have. The only thing that was good was the tag team turmoil match at the end. That's the only thing that was good about tonight. Oh, oh yeah, and the um, Page versus Summary match. There's too much talking about like about not what's going in, on in the match. If they were to talk about what is going on in the match more, that would be spectacular. Too much like commentating about stupid stuff. Talk about the match. Talk about what's going on in the ring. Talk about the the competitors. Show the intensity of, of what's going on. Um we all, like one of the first matches was Bray Wyatt versus R Truth. I think this was a stupid throwaway match. I don't know why they had to do this. The 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 um the, the tag team turmoil match consisted of first uh, Roman Reigns and Daniel Bryan versus Miz and Mizdow. A um, little turmoil, like Rocky start for Daniel Bryan and, and Roman Reigns. Um, they beat the Miz and Mizdow like easy, it seems like. Then it was uh, the Usos, which was a harder match, but... Still winnable for the uh, Roman Reigns and Daniel Bryan. So, I mean, you would have enjoyed that. I have to say that you would have enjoyed that. It was pretty good. We had Roman Reigns and Daniel Bryan versus El, uh, Los Matadores, or whatever you want to call them. The stupid name. Easy win for, for um, the two guys. We had... Titus O'Neil and Heath Slater versus Roman Reigns and Daniel Bryan. Again, a freaking easy match where the, uh, Roman Reigns just showed power and defeated them himself. Um, we also had Ro uh, Roman Reigns and Daniel Bryan versus The Ascension. Uh, Daniel Bryan and I mean, the Ascension got disqualified. You know, stupidity. Probably just to strike them and like, do something stupid to weaken them. So when the next two competitors come out, they can possibly beat Rowan Reigns and Daniel Bryan. And then the next two competitors were Big Show and Kane. It's like this feud with Big Show and Kane um, is trying to build. So... They can, you know, go against um, Roman Reigns and uh, Daniel Bryan. It's, they, they just keep doing this, which is getting foolish and annoying. It's getting too predictable again. How WWE of them. I think that's going to become the new thing. It's not going to be how predictable. We're just going to change the word, predict the meaning of predictable to WWE. So we just say, how WWE of you. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, as we can all guess, Daniel Bryan and Roman Reigns won. Easy, right? Simple. That's really all that happened. If you like this video, subscribe. You know what to do. Subscribe to my video. Subscribe to my channel. And as you guys notice, the beard is coming back. It's making its way back, baby. Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> so, like my video. Tell me what you think down in the comments. Tell me what you think is coming up or uh, what we can do in the future. Or what do you think we can expect? Come on back and watch me again. See ya.